Hickok 45. Got the Kiapa Alaskan in 44 Magnum, the takedown model. Thank you, Taylors and Company, for sending it. Maybe I should shoot it, you think? Let's do. Got the big loop lever, too, so I feel like John Wayne. Hope I can shoot like it. Alright. Boy. Some of that federal 240 grain uh, 44 mag, it really packs a wallet. Let's try a ram. Got to hit it first, not shoot low. Like that. <laughs> Knocks him over. Boom. Oh, fell forward. <laughs> Put one on the gong. Rings the bell, doesn't it? I bet it'll break a two liter too right here. <laughs> pulverizes it. Absolutely pulverizes that thing. I'll bet it'll smoke a pot. Yeah, really. <laughs> no question about that. And let's hit that red plate again over there. Oh, went under it. Now it fell. Okay, I'm messing around here. I'm going to get even with him. Yeah, this is the Alaskan, and uh, it, it looks like it ought to be in Alaska, doesn't it? It feels out here today like we are in Alaska. In fact, it's pretty chilly. But it's hard chromed for uh, you know that sort of environment, and it has a wooden stock and uh, forearm, as I understand, but it's covered with uh, kind of a rubber. So it is protected from the elements. Pretty interesting, and you got your large loop there, which I don't particularly like. Uh, if it were mine, I would take that off and replace it. But if you got big gloves, you know, it does have some utility there. So, pretty cool. It's got Skinner sights on it. Uh, and those are always good. You know, if you've seen my uh, Marlin, Marlin rifles and some of those uh, videos, that I love Skinner sights. They are just, they make, they make one of these guns, no doubt about it. You got your fiber optic in the front. So, pretty cool. It's got a, a bear on there, it looks like. Alaskan. So... Pretty good little rig. It ain't cheap. It's about 13, 1400 bucks, you know, because of all the things that are done to it. And it's built on the 92 uh, frame. You know, it's a, built on the Winchester 92 pattern. So it's a strong little rifle. So, and everybody loves the 92, the Model 92. You know, you've heard me talk about how it was used in all the Westerns <laughs> uh, when the Westerns were actually before 1892. But they used it in so many of them. John Wayne, uh, the Rifleman, Lucas McCain, it was just uh, everywhere. So pretty cool little rifle. We're firing uh, mostly Federal ammo. We appreciate them furnishing that. That is really cool. We appreciate our uh, other sponsors, uh, Buds. Uh, BudsGunShop.com, for helping to make all this possible. Uh, check out the links in the, in the description. But I've been shooting this thing. We've had some fun with it. it it's I got the sights adjusted to where it's right on. I'll shoot uh, those were some Federal 240 grains. I'll shoot a couple of my 300 grain lead bullets here. It's for kicks. Uh, no pun intended. Uh, these are 44 Magnum. You have to always make sure because I load these 300 grain bullets that look a lot like this in my uh, 45 Colt for my Marlins. That's the thing about uh, this design that it's uh, pretty tough and uh, tougher than the 1873 actually in terms of the action uh, even though they're eh, I guess they both shot mostly a pistol cartridge but this is a uh, tougher action this 1892 action this style with your your locking lugs uh, it's like the 1886 and we've gone through that before you know with your two locking lugs that come up there so let's put one of these in the chamber and these are lead let's put uh, put a couple on that paper I don't know where they're going, but I've got a red dot on red dot. The front sight is a red fiber optic. Oh, that was off. It's getting kind of windy. I can blame it on the wind, can I? Let's see what one of these will do to a two liter. Yeah. <laughs> Pretty much take care of it, won't it? Yeah, it's on the bottom. Let's hit the stop sign. <laughs> Does that mean I have to stop? And let's pop one of these coffins. <laughs> and a cowboy. <laughs> Appropriate to shoot a cowboy. 
Yeah, with an 1892. Uh, pretty cool. Let's go back to some federal here. Let's, let's uh, put in some of these jacketed rounds. These are pretty warm. I shot a lot of 44 Magnum in my day, factory and otherwise. And uh, and uh, these are pretty warm factory loads, I've, I've noticed, because we shot quite a few of these. They're American Eagle, 240 grain, kind of the, the classic, the standard 240 Magnum round or 44 magnum round, 240 grain bullet is kind of a standard, although there are lots of different loads available. Ooh, it's, this thing loads pretty pretty easily, but it's cold and it you know, wants to pinch a little bit, but does pretty well. I'm not gonna worry about getting the 10th one in there. Holds 10. I don't know if there's a plug in the uh, uh, magazine or not. I didn't uh, take it apart. Because uh, my, my uh, Marlin will hold actually 13 but it's got a little bit longer barrel. This has a 20 inch barrel, by the way. It comes at 16 or 20, comes in uh, other calibers. I think the 357 Magnum, if you can find one, and uh, maybe 45 Colt, I'm not sure. All right, I'll put a couple of these on the paper. Okay, I don't know where that one, but I was right on the, on the bull holding as far as the sight goes. Let's smoke a little more pot. <laughs> Boy, that'll do it. Let's go over there and pick on a uh, pig. <laughs> now, that, if you recall, that is a pig who doesn't like to fall. That left pig, he was down like a 4570. Hit him. Wonder why he didn't go down like that. Could be because I missed, you reckon? Those pigs are heavy. Oh, and that ram over there never wants to fall. I bet this will knock him over. Oh, yeah, <laughs> even he fell. Let's go for that turkey. Well, oh, that's some authority. Let me bear down on that chicken. Okay. If I can pick him off. Boy. Oh, yeah, let me pat myself on the back. I did get those sights right on. Uh, when I first got it, I uh, shot, took some shots. Not too bad, but it was shooting a little bit low and right. Okay, so I moved the rear sight, you know, adjusted it to the left, and uh, unscrewed it, took it out. A little bit nice thing about the skinners, you release the little set screw there and you can move them around. So. It is right on. It is right on, bro. No doubt about it. And then we still have another round. Let's put it on something. Like that two liter. Wow. Tell you what. Huh, 44 Magnum. I know everybody wants something bigger. 338 or 4570 like I like so much. But a 44 Magnum has a lot of uh, energy. You put some... Uh, Oh, some hardy ammo in a, in a farm like this, and there's not much uh, that it won't take care of. Because, uh, wow, I can really see just by the way it hits that steel. One thing I have a little exp uh, experience at, and you might believe this, and that's knocking those animals over for about 26, 7, 8 years. So I've seen them fall with different rounds <laughs> and how they react. A nine millimeter, a 40, a 45, 357, 44 mag, 45, 70, you name it. And uh, you know, these things take them down. It's not so much the gun, I mean, it's a cartridge, it's the software, right? It's the software. Let's go ahead and put it up. Well, no, we're okay. All right. Wow. We cleared out a few of these. I, I just feel like, though, I need to knock over another turkey or two. Those turkeys are sometimes slow to fall too. Since I got three with one shot, uh, that was my trick shot, I'll put a few on the gong. Maybe you can see them hit up there. I'm going to hold right in the middle of it, put four or five on it, or at it.
be cool. Get there fast too. That was the last one. I guess I better put a few more rounds in, okay? Then we'll uh, maybe wrap it up here. That was good. Full metal, well, it's not full metal jacket, it's soft point actually. We'll get some. Uh, all right, so anyway, this is the, you know, uh, based on the Model 92, classic Winchester rifle. Just uh, with some preparation for Alaskan adventures, you know, because weather can be harsh up there. Pretty harsh here today, but uh, the hard chroming and everything makes it pretty, pretty durable. And they've also uh, slicked up this uh, this firearm. You know, for this kind of price, you know, thirteen hundred bucks, fourteen hundred, you expect uh, you know a little extra, don't you? And you get all this, uh, I guess, the hard chroming and everything. But it, it's a really smooth operator too. Uh, I, will, I will say. It uh, it doesn't act like a lot of lever guns. Like they, they want to hang up when you when you work the lever. I mean, it, it really is smooth with everything I put through it. Incredibly smooth, <laughs> actually. Okay. Since we've got a pretty powerful gun, let's put one on a buffalo over there. The guy hanging over there on the right. Yeah, I just feel like he needed one. And. Uh, you want to see what this looks like on the tree here? Let's put one of the knock one of the, this, that top tree limb because those are harder to knock back to the left. So let's knock him back to the left. I think this will do it. <laughs> what did I tell you? I knocked the tree over. Oh man. And this is an appropriate round for a coffin, isn't it? Woo! Knocked the heck out of him. And maybe that last turkey over there. <laughs> Poor guy. And we've got a large pot here. Let's just go ahead and take him out. Might take several rounds. <laughs> yep, a little smoke created there. That might be the last round. It is the last round, so guess what we're going to shoot? The stop sign. <laughs> How's that for appropriate? Okay, so, no, there is another round. Okay. Let's, let's try the uh, little plate over there, the red plate. I'll get ambitious. All right, and there's another one. Let's put one on the gong. Well, I'm not counting very well, I guess because it's so cold. Not that I'm anxious to quit. Uh, I, can, I can tough it out. Uh, you, you tend to forget it's cold or the weather is blustery and uh, not so desirable if you have a fine firearm in your hand. Well, uh, the, the 92 is a great gun, one of my favorites of all time. And I'm assuming that this would hold up like any other 92. You know, he, uh, you know it's made you know, it's by Chiapa, so it wasn't made by Winchester. But uh, the design is the design is very sound, and it's a strong design. So uh, you know, I'm assuming this would uh, be something that would would last last a, a person you know, a good a good long time. You know, so you would hope one would hope. But uh, it's a great design, and we can thank uh, you know who for that. Come on, that's a quiz. Yes, John Browning. So, anyway, we appreciate uh, Taylors and Company uh, sending this our way. It's a T&E gun. We'll send it back. Uh, might see it at SHOT Show, this very gun. <laughs> I'll have to check out the serial number and, uh, and take a look at it when, uh, when I get there in Las Vegas. Yeah, so I can, uh, I can brag on what a great shooter this gun is and how I'm not going to charge him anything for getting the sights on for him. Okay? So, anyway, pretty cool gun. We appreciate uh, Federal, Bud's Gun Shop, uh, Taylors and Company, and especially, I mean especially, John Browning for designing the 1892. Pretty cool gun. Life is good. Actually, life is not totally good yet, okay? I got so carried away with shooting, I forgot to show you something pretty interesting about this firearm, okay? I apologize. I'm just not too bright. It's a takedown, you know, and that's one of the distinctive features of it. All right, so let me show you what you do. First of all, you really want to make sure it's not loaded. There's nothing in there because you're going to be working on the other end of the rifle. But it, it comes down pretty simply. You pull this lever up and you just unscrew the magazine and it 
it's very simple. You bring it out to where it's loose, where it'll actually pull out, you know, like that. And then you just grab the barrels down here, the front end, and you turn it all the way around, 90 degrees like that, comes out, okay? Makes it easy to clean or to put in a little pack like that. Uh, I saw somewhere online that Skinner Sites, you know, who makes the sites for this thing, offers a pack, a little uh, soft pack for it where it all fits in and all that sort of thing, but you know, others might make it too or, or, or just whatever you improvise. But you get to end up with a gun that's not very long, so pretty cool. And then it makes it easier to clean too. And then uh, you want to put it back, you just start at the same point. Like that. You can turn it all the way around. Like that. And then you, now we got here, you screw the magazine back in. Now, it's good to always have the action open too. And I mean, it'll actually do this with it closed, but that way you know it's unloaded. Okay, right there, and you close the latch. It's ready to go again, so you're ready to shoot. Okay, pretty cool. They make, uh, I think they make this in a Trapper model, or, or, or I know that Winchester did these these guns back in the day. So that feature is not a, a new thing. The uh, Winchester offered the 92s in takedown models, so I think in the Trapper models and maybe some of the others, you know, back in the day. So that's just in keeping with the tradition of, of these firearms. So anyway. Uh, I don't know why you didn't remind me of that. You know, you folks got to get better about that when I'm in the middle of a video and uh, remind me when I've forgotten to do something. So I'm, I'm putting it on you, it's your fault. So anyway, I got carried away shooting and forgot to show you that. So uh, even though life was good before, uh, it's still good. So y'all have a great day.